Okay, so I was asked this um, this um, question on um, I used to meet a person and, and give the metaphor that thoughts are like objects. And this is from the observer tools. In fact, thoughts are objects. Um, and it's good to know that. So the way I the way to recognize that a thought is an object is anything that is an object is anything that has form and all that has form has limitation. So a cloud is an object, meaning uh, you can see, you know that it's uh, like a fluffy, it's like a, a fluffy cotton, cotton wool in the sky, isn't it really? But that's an object because you know vaguely how, how wide it is and how, and how big it is and you observe it as an object passing by in the sky. So anything that passes by and has form, i.e. limitation attached to it, is an object. So a, a table or a chair. Now, if you're practicing the observer or the witnesser with a table or a chair, um, look, look, at it, look at a chair in the room. So as you observe the chair, you realize it's an object. You're not, you cannot be the object, you're the observer of the object. So as you witness the chair, it's recognized, oh yeah, it's this tall and it's this wide and it's clearly an object of form and limitation. And the observer, which is uh, more limitless than the object, which is limited, observes. So the limitless observer observes the limited objects before it. So in, that's a kind of a calibration just to recognize with the chair in the room that the chair and an object has nothing to do with the observer. Um, now, what about, so, and what about a cloud passing by in the sky, which is an object? Is the observer the cloud? No. It's obvious that when observing clouds passing by in the sky, that there are objects which pass by. And that the observer is not the cloud. The observer is not the chair. That's a, that's a spiritual experience. It's not a mental construct in the head. So the next thing is, um, what about thoughts passing by? A lot of people are so heavily identified with thoughts, they think they are their thoughts. However, thoughts are, you know, thoughts are objects. They, they pass by, they, you know, thought goes by, the, the, the sky is blue, the next thought goes by, the chair is brown. So these are all uh, individual thoughts floating past on the conveyor belt of the stream of thoughts. So what's observing thoughts pass by? So the observer of an object passing cannot be the object which is passing. So that then brings the clarity to disenmesh, disidentify, stop being enmeshed in the thoughts and realize that there's a witnesser of these passing thoughts and the witnesser is not the thoughts. So in this way, um, you experience the witnesser and you free yourself from the bondage of thoughts, which occurs through allowing the unconscious to give meaning uh, or, or specialness to the stream of thoughts. If all thoughts were meaningless and non-special and had no history attached to them, then actually in truth, if that was 100% the case, you, you'd been thoughtless now because anything that has no meaning or is not identified with essentially disappears. But even if um, you uh, have a large, uh, to a large extent, disidentify and uh, unhook from thoughts, there's a clear observing there is an observing or witnessing of thoughts and the thoughts are not you, they pass by. And in that spiritual awakening, you start, the, there starts to be the freedom from the bondage of being lost in thoughts and the limitation of the passing stream of thoughts. Um, in terms of um, labeling, anytime the ego labels a thought or makes a thought special, i.e. to label, then the thought is registered. So um, my uh, suggestion would be to spiritual seekers, try not to label thoughts, uh, uh, allow the labeling of thoughts because that's identification and giving meaning to thoughts. And then you'll start to get more freedom, detachment and witnessing of thoughts. But when the ego is trying to analyze, identify or make a story or is interested in hooking into the field of thoughts, then uh, con consciousness will be experienced in a more limited restricted uh, sense, not the uh, limitless sense of the uh, pure consciousness. Okay, 